Well, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Jason Roberts. I'm the director of uh, CRE Reduce, and I just wanted to uh, communicate some of the wonderful achievements that we've had this year. We're very fortunate to be supported by NHMRC and University of Queensland and many of our collaborating institutions, and that allows us to work with some great people, do some important work, and we're very grateful for the achievements that we've had this year. And I'd just like to go through some of those just so that you understand how we're trying to make our contribution to making uh, healthcare better, and particularly for patients with severe infections and those that may develop antibiotic resistant infections. So most importantly, I think that we are very proud of being able to convene the uh, Antimicrobial Resistance Forum uh, for 2019 here at, uh, at the Hurston campus. Uh, it was a tremendous success. We were fortunate enough to have our, our keynote speaker from John Hopkins University, uh, Professor Sarah Cosgrove, who was a, a wonderful contributor to the meeting. Uh, along with the meeting and the previous workshops, I think that a lot of people uh, developed a very nice insight in terms of the importance of the One, uh, one Health approach to antimicrobial resistance and developing some important actions for that. And it, was, it was a highly successful meeting and uh, we're looking forward to contributing and supporting the meeting in 2020 as well. We've also been fortunate enough to be involved in organising many other meetings through the year. Uh, we had our first foray into Southeast Asia region this year whereby we organised a symposium in Vietnam on the topic of antimicrobial resistance and antimicrobial optimization. And uh, we're very grateful to link with the University of Sydney for this and also with um, Tonduk Tang University in Ho Chi Minh City. Um, it was a wonderful experience, over 100 people present and uh, you know, has allowed us to develop some very nice collaborations with that. Uh, earlier in the year in, in Sydney, uh, we organised uh, a, a seminar looking at um, outpatient parental antimicrobial therapy and hospital in the home use of antibiotics to try and develop ways to uh, better use antibiotics in this context and that was um, again a really exciting meeting before the uh, Antimicrobials 2019 meeting and uh, through that we've identified some key research areas which need to be addressed and we're in the process of developing uh, some grant applications to support uh, that much needed work because it's a, a wonderful uh, intervention uh, and use of uh, the um, for the healthcare setting which is able to reduce the amount of days the patients spend in hospitals and allow them to be at home. So we're very proud to try and contribute to solving those issues. We also had our first foray into European uh, uh, seminars and workshops and with our very good friends uh, at uh, CHU Nimes so the University Hospital in Nîmes, we organised uh, an antimicrobial optimization workshop, uh, a seminar, as well as a PKPD uh, workshop where we taught people how to use uh, modelling software so they can perform better pharmacokinetic studies so that we can develop better dosing regimens to support uh, antibiotic use in, in severely unwell patients. And we're very grateful to our very strong collaborator, Professor Johnny Lafront, uh, as well as CHU Nimes, with whom we've developed a, uh, a formal agreement for ongoing research and collaborative activities to ensure that there's uh, more information coming through for the benefit of all about how to better use antibiotics uh, in different patient groups, with a particular focus with CHU Nimes on those patients that are, that are in the intensive care unit. We've continued our work with um, rapid diagnostics and dosing software work, and. Um, this is, uh, has allowed us to welcome a new staff member onto the team, uh, uh, Luminita Vlad. Uh, she has worked at the University of Queensland for a while, and so we're very grateful that she's been able to come on and take a management role in this work. It's a, it's a very collaborative project, heavily driven by uh, Queensland Pathology uh, Associated staff, um, who are mostly based at the University of Queensland, but involves a, a collaboration across Queensland Children's Hospital, Princess Alexandra Hospital, uh, the, um, the Prince Charles Hospital, as well as the Royal Brisbane Women's Hospital. And so we're very excited to see whether or not we can develop some better uh, data around this topic about how we can diagnose uh, infections faster and also work out what the best dose of the right antibiotic is a lot faster to try and ensure better treatment for the most critically unwell patients we have. 
We've had some wonderful successes this year, um, notably Jayesh Danani, one of our, our star PhD graduates who is now a, a research fellow with us and has now got his own a competitive research fellowship to allow him to continue to work in research and clinical practices. Uh, a very exciting development for us. We were fortunate enough to share our facilities with a number of uh, visitors from overseas uh, and uh, have them contribute to the overall uh, activity and discussion that we have in and around the topics of what CRE Reduce is aiming to do. So we're very grateful to have had uh, Patty Beta here from Mexico and we hope to see more of her in 2020. Uh, Ninka Jaeger from the Netherlands who um, uh, brought us a lot of insights in terms of her clinical application of dosing software in um, a clinical environment. And then uh, Ryan Shields visited us uh, for a day as well and he's from the United States of America and has some great insights in terms of a use of new antibiotics for uh, multi-drug resistant gram-negative agents. It was wonderful to have him present. In terms of some big activities for us now, we have uh, just submitted our reapplication to extend our centre uh, and uh, I, I think that we've put a very good application together and I'm quite pleased with that. Uh, so fingers crossed from, from all of us here because I think that what we do do is uh, as is the mantra of the University of Queensland, is we create change. And we've done this uh, through a number of ways. Uh, we've generated over 50 publications again this year. We've been able to uh, um, obtain um, uh, millions of dollars worth of grants. We've had um, uh, a lot of our dosing regimens make it into clinical practice guidelines that are used globally. And we've been able to extend some of our mechanistic studies into randomised controlled trials which can continue to define best practice for use of drugs in, uh, in some of our most unwell patient groups. And so it's been a pleasure for me to be involved again this year. I, I can't wait to get stuck into 2020. I think that we've got some amazing people here uh, and I won't go through all the thank yous because I'm sure that you'll see them on the website. But, uh, you know, we'll continue to collaborate, work together as a team and make sure that we can deliver on our vision to develop new dosing regimens which can uh, suppress the emergence of antimicrobial resistance so that we can e extend the life of our antibiotics for the benefit of us and for future generations as well. Merry Christmas and uh, happy holidays to you all.